After midterms, they have pitched their best ideas to the corporate client. The corporate client has decided on an idea for them to follow through as a final design, refine it, finalize it, and implement it as a cohesive story. This is like a full-time job, just this project. So there's a lot to do, and you just get a badge to prioritize and uh, work with everyone in every group that is our responsibility as a global team. We not only have to cooperate within our team, we need to talk to every other team. So we're 40 people in the class, so there's a lot of uh, conversations going on at the same time. I think the biggest challenge is getting all the teams together because like, there's always everyone that is waiting on someone else to do something. For example, we as a global team are waiting on the other four design teams to give us their 3D file in terms of the cars because we want to get them in the one of our hero shots in front of the building. So we have to wait on them to finish the 3D modeling. Everyone is waiting on someone else and we feel that we don't have time. So that's the biggest challenge, I think. What students have to accomplish for the end of this class is really having a good narrative of the design experience they're trying to create and making sure that all the assets that they've designed are showcased in the final storyboard that they pitch to Subaru. It sounds very simple, but it's, it's a big undertaking, especially since you have clay models that need to be completed, digital models that need to be completed, interior architecture models that need to be completed, you have the color materials and finishes that need to be finalized, the user experience and user interface that needs to be done, the copy that the advertising team has to take care of. Although we feel really proud of them for where they're at today, we still know that there's a lot of work for them ahead. So at this point in the semester, we started making our clay models. I could go on all day about clay modeling. It's, it's probably my favorite part of the process. Going from this two-dimensional piece of artwork into a real-life object with your hands, like, there's nothing that beats that. I just started the clay model this week, and I have to get it done by the spring show. The most excited part for me to work on the model is to really see how my uh, design come into life and really see how all the surface come together. After the midterm, I changed a lot. So this is the first week they saw the new design and I think they like it, but I still have to work on the proportions and the value of the whole car. What makes a good model is one that captures you at the first time you see it, and it keeps you there. And so what I mean by that is that the lines, the surfaces, the graphics, they all work in harmony to keep you engaged and to lead you from one detail to the next detail to the next detail. And it keeps you walking around the design. Today they brought a professional sculptor in from the Subaru studio and it was really cool to be able to work with him one-on-one. -on -one. フレキシブルで触ることもできるし、クイックチェンジもできるし、その作ったものすぐに見ることもできる。そこじゃないかなと思います。私が考える良いクレモデラって、デザイナーと一緒にコミュニケーションを取りながらより良い形を作るだけじ
you know, a lot of times if a sculptor comes in, you know, maybe they'll tell you like, you know, one or two things to work on. But this time it was, it was a little different. We had a chance to work one-on-one. -on -one. It was more of, here, you grab a tool, I'll grab a tool. Let's we'll work together on this for a second. My favorite part, again, is seeing how students from other disciplines can come together and work towards a common goal. Like, I still really get excited to see that. The students get influenced by each other and their creativity and their approaches are different, but they're able to use those to make a concept that has a lot more depth to it because there's a lot more thought that went into the final design. And so for me, that's usually my favorite part is when I can come in and I can ask them about a certain detail of the design and they'll not only have one reason on why they did that, there's gonna be multiple reasons that are interconnected on why they took that approach. So for me, it's always exciting to see what these young designers come up with and are able to generate as a team.